Brooklyn center cop charged with involuntary manslaughter. City manager fired. This is a topic report, and the topic we're looking at is Brooklyn center cop shooting fallout. As things continue to unfold, as long as it's relevant, or as long as we deem it's relevant, we'll keep covering it. Our first, uh, our top link that we're going to focus on here is Kim Potter will be charged with manslaughter and Dante Wright killing. From New York Times, written by Nicholas Boge Burroughs and Julie Bosman. The white Minnesota police officer who fatally shot Dante Wright, a 20-year-old black man, white, black. You see what they're doing there. I mean, they, she was white and he was black, but you see what they're doing there. Uh, after appealing, uh, after appearing to, mis- appearing, appearing to mistake her can- handgun for her taser, will be charged with second-degree manslaughter, a prosecutor said on Wednesday following three nights of protests over the killing. And I sure hope that they didn't do it because of the protest, but, you know, maybe not so much in light of this next story, which is related. Brooklyn Center Council member voted to fire city manager because she feared BLM retaliation. So this is from, let's see where this is from. This is probably, yeah, I was going to say it. There it is, legal insurrection. So... He was doing a great job. I respect him dearly. I didn't want repercussions at a personal letter level. Brooklyn Center Council member Chris Lawson Anderson said of her vote. You look at that. He's doing a great job. Doesn't matter if you're doing a great job. You have to toe the corpo state or the corporate uh, nationalist party line. If you're going to be a politician, if you're going to be employed, if you're going to be able to purchase products, you have to toe the corporate nationalist party line, which happens to be the critical race theory garbage. And that is, they don't really care about critical race theory. What they do care about is the power that it affords them to be able to control we the poors. And these people are, are just enabling billionaires with all of this action. So as Mary reported earlier, Brooklyn Center, Minnesota, saw a third night of the type of Antifa BLM-led rioting and looting that occurred with regularity last year in the aftermath of George Floyd's death. But as local law enforcement tried in vain to quell the chaos that erupted on city streets to respond in response to the officer-involved shooting death of 20-year-old Dante Wright, a different kind of chaos involving city leaders, city leaders was taking place behind the scenes. Brooklyn Center City Manager Kurt Bogany, who is black. There you go. That's just. By the way, you know, if you're if you're if you think that you're a member of the the safe nation, you know, the POC nation, the person of color, or now the BIPOC nation, as 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 the the black extremist uh, uh, attempt to take hegemony over all the other races, which isn't going to work, uh, especially among the Hispanic races, because the, the Hispanics are way more numerous and way more powerful than the black community. So <laughs> it's going to be a problem when. Well, I think Hispanics are already starting to figure that out. Uh, But you have to fire a black manager because it's more important that you toe the party line. That's what it's really about. It's about that uh, that, that ideological hegemony that you you maintain. And in the name of diversity, you assure that there is none. Was voted out of a job Monday after the city council voted to fire him. Oh, was out of a job on Monday. Bogany's 16-year 16, 16 employment with the city was terminated just a few hours after he publicly expressed disagreement with Mayor Mike Elliott during a press conference where he both addressed the shooting. Let me be very clear. My position is that we cannot afford to make mistakes that lead to the loss of all life of other people in our profession. I do fully support releasing the officer of her duties. Before leaving the podium, Elliott noted that Bogani, as city manager, had the authority to determine whether the officer would be fired. Bogany noted that he would not take immediate action to remove the officer. All employees working for the city of Brooklyn Center are entitled to due process with respect to discipline. Oh my, how dare you be for due? See, this is why the corpor- corporate media or the corporate uh, nationalists are using the vehicle of power that is uh, critical race theory because it is the most effective moral supremacist vehicle that will get frightened poor people to agree to kill King Bill, the real law of the land, the real ruler of the land, King Bill, the Bill of Rights. And so he cries due process. We can't have that. We can't have that. So they fire him. This whole city council, they're from an American Bill of Rights perspective. They're pretty much traitors. They're treasonous. They're acting in direct opposition to the Bill of Rights. They're literally firing him for sustaining and maintaining the rule of law under King Bill. So there's that. 
Then we get to uh, another story here. Brooklyn City Center city manager fired for calling for due process speaks out. Well, we've re- Okay, I won't read that excerpt for that one. Protesters chase CNN crew covered during the Dante Wright arrest. The green shirts are turning on their masters. And, uh, yeah, and the masters are going to have to try to control. This is why Biden is suddenly saying, hey, man, let's uh, let's uh, let's do an investigation. Let's figure out the facts. Uh, yeah, because they're 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 at some point the DNC, which is basically the corporate nationalists themselves. That's their vehicle of power within the political arena. The DNC is essentially preparing at some point in the very near future to separate from the green shirts and to create they'll create laws, standards, whatever. The same laws and standards that the green shirts are now enabling through terror are the same laws and standards that the DNC corporate corporate nationalists will use to eventually show up at their doors and take them out, as was witnessed by the black city manager who didn't say the right things. And I think, uh, well, there's more stories here, but those are the real essential ones. I encourage you to go to uh, freedomist.com and check this story out for yourself. Check all the stories out here for yourself, and, and you decide for yourself what's what.